Hey guys. All right, we're gonna do real quickly a uh, tutorial that kind of goes over some of the old route of SD the Great Battle mixed with some new things that I have found uh, to help get your times down even lower. Um, old record was a 1349 um, about four months ago, from four, about four months from this recording ago. Um, and that time has come down to about a 1329 thanks to some new routing. Uh, and then really just execution. It's just execution and new routing. But um, uh, I want to try to show some of that off while also talking about the guide that uh, Telio One has put up, which I will link to that guide in the description. Uh, I will link to this current, uh, I mean, you're watching the current guide, so I will uh, try to get some written notes. And when I get written notes, I'll link to that. But um, I will link to uh, the notes that Telio One made um, in the description for this video. So um, a lot of it is very, very similar. We'll go through a brief uh, introduction of the game. Uh, I do uh, always go into the options menu and change my controller. Now I use controller type C, which is just going to change your uh, your weapons, special weapons, um, hero change to all uh, of what you see right here. So jump is going to be on the B button if you're using a, uh, a traditional SNES controller. Um, shoot will be on the Y button, and the A button is going to change what hero you are uh, currently using. Your special weapons will be mapped to the R shoulder button. Options on the X, X button we don't really use, uh, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so that's, uh, that's, that's, um, that, that's nothing that we're going to have to uh, go over today. But I use C. Another popular uh, button, is, uh, a button type is F. Uh, I know Telia One uses the F button layout, but I, I always use C. It just it feels uh, comfortable for the way that I hold the controller. It feels comfortable for the games that I'm used to playing. So uh, we'll go into that, um, and then we start the game. So timing will start, uh, if you're speedrunning this, timing is going to start as soon as you press start uh, on the main menu. So it'll be 3, 2, 1, and time. Hold start through these uh, little cutscenes, and then you'll skip all the dialogue. You don't have to worry about mashing anything. If you're holding start, you're all good, so it doesn't matter. Um, so we're going to start real quick by just going through the controls that we've got. So we've got Ultraman here, we've got uh, Kamen Rider, and then we've got Gundam. Uh, and each of these guys has their own sort of weapon. Ultraman, of course, will fire out his lasers from his hand. We've got uh, Kamen, who's thrown out his boots. And then Gundam will fire his gun. So you press the A button to switch between them, Y to fire, and B will jump. So we're always going to start. Um, I'm going to start this game over again, and then we'll start uh, using some save states. But um, you're always going to start. Uh, oh, excuse me. Sorry about the sound there. Uh, the game always starts you out as um, Ultraman, <clears throat> and then you're going to switch immediately to uh to gundam so uh we'll i'll go through really quickly how that's gonna look and uh and uh yeah we'll go from there we'll go from there all right so again three two one go hold down start to skip through this uh cut scene right, i'm going to create a save state now And then hold right as the screen opens up, and then immediately, once you land, immediately switch over to Gundam. You cannot move and switch at the same time, so you have to release uh, your hold on the controller to be able to do this. Uh, let's load back that, uh, that save state. So hold right, switch, switch, and uh, I call this level jumps or yumps. And uh, it's really because I'm trying to jump through all of these enemies without taking any damage. There's certain points in this level where it doesn't matter if you take damage. I'm going to keep resetting so that we get uh, just a good feel for what this should look like. There's a, f a few spots where it doesn't really matter if you take damage from the enemy because it's not going to affect the timing of uh, these platforms and such. Uh, so I'll show you real quick. Uh, we'll do one more reset. Switch, switch, and go. If you want to, you can just fire, get rid of him, 
and then you don't have to worry about possibly getting hit by him. Getting hit by him does affect timing. Getting hit right here affects timing, but getting hit on this platform does not. Um, so you're going to try to time out these platforms um, with your jumps so that you get to the next side, but um, you don't uh, do what I just did and fall down into the into the bottomless pit below. So let's fire, jump, and go. And we're gonna jump and jump. See, getting hit right there, it delays the spawning of that platform. So in, uh, in attempts, we'd be about a full second behind at this point, uh, which is fine. Now you see kind of how it goes and, and that's just something to be looking for. Um, you don't have to do this. I do that particular jump pattern just as a sort of staying away from bullets. Um, standing right here, uh, here, let me go back and then we'll create a new save state. So we'll start right from the beginning. You can fire pretty early at that guy and then your bullet will still hit him. Jump diagonally. Always try to get diagonal as much as possible. It just cuts down how much you're having to walk uh, and how much land you're really having to uh, to, to go over. So um, cut, uh, cut corners as much as you are able to, as much as you're comfortable with. All right, so we're going to get over this way. Yump, yump. And I'm going to pause here and create a new save state, and let's go. Uh, on this platform, oops, here, let's try this again. On this platform, switch once to Ultraman. When you get to Ultraman and you land on this platform, fire diagonally up once, and then you're going to move to the right to uh, trigger this dialogue right here. So we'll do this again real quick. Switch once, land, fire, trigger the dialogue. You want to hit King Joe here with one of those uh, bullets. You want to hit him as early as possible uh, before he moves away, right after the dialogue and before he moves. And then uh, the rest of this fight, you need to hit him three more times. If you do not pre-fire him, let me show you what happens if you don't pre-fire him. This is a new, uh, you know what, it's so hard to, to not pre-fire. This is new compared to uh, the old route. The old route had you doing something similar to what I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to get through the dialogue. He's going to move immediately. You can hit him three times, and then he moves. And then you're able to hit him once more, and then everything progresses as normal. This new route, switch once, jump, fire. That's already one of the four hits that you need to get rid of this guy. And switch twice on this platform. You've already, you pre-fire and you hit him once as soon as his dialogue is done. So you don't have to worry about him moving more than once. It's it's a way to save a quick uh, two seconds versus the old route. Uh, I always fire right there. Uh, reduce lag by getting rid of enemies. So I'll fire, fire, fire. Try to hit two. Uh, there, there are sometimes when I hit, uh, you know, two enemies, or sometimes I hit three enemies, very rarely. And then there's sometimes when I just hit none, and it just happens. Uh, this fight, let's make a uh, save state real quick right here. All right, this fight is very easy, no difference from the old route. Right here, as I'm walking, I fire. I pre-fire right at this visual cue. So we're gonna land on this platform, fire, walk forward. It'll trigger his dialogue. He's gonna get hit by that bullet. From this point, I fire two bullets and then one rocket on the R shoulder button. So it's gonna look something like this. Very quick, very quick. You don't even have to think about it. Jump. Free fire one two rocket done and I jump immediately right there you can jump as soon as you get to that uh, to that edge you can jump you will not fall in the pit it looks super scary you will not fall in the pit ready jump you're gonna be fine you're gonna be just fine I promise you this fight um, originally the the old route had a pre-fire you're, you're mashing buttons uh, you're mashing the fire button as soon as you get into this uh, into this room, and you're trying to get a pre-fire off on Zitan. The pre-fire is based on a frame rule, and unless you are you know able to count the frame that you get into this room, it's going to be very difficult to rely on whether or not you get that pre-fire. So what I really do is I just I wait, and as soon the moment 
that I advance dialogue, I uh, fire a rocket, and then I mash rocket again. You're just gonna try to get two rockets off. And sometimes he just gives you the big old troll pattern. So let's see if we can't do it. Sometimes it does not work. And that's what the pre-fire was for, was to stop him in place so that he doesn't do this big walk on you. And, um, and that's why the pre-fire was in place. But um, having the pre-fire on a frame rule means that it's not always uh, going to happen. So um, there's times when I just, like, level one just becomes a huge reset point because Zatan will just do this. He'll just walk. He'll just walk directly into you. Um, so I'll, sh I'll try to show you one with the pre-fire. We'll see if we get lucky. Let's see if we can get it. Nope. So, once you get him with... Uh, you can kill him with two full rockets, or the way that I did it just there was uh, one full rocket, one partial rocket, and one bullet. We'll do it one more time. Let's just make a save state right here so I'm not having to go through uh, King Saurus. Uh, and that way we can do it more than once if needed. See it right there. Two rockets can take him down if he doesn't give you a big FU pattern and just walk directly through your rocket. So, uh, two rockets there and he should be done. He's just dead. Mash the fire button through dialogue and then you split at, uh, at the fade to black. Uh, next up, level two, uh, first boss, first little mini boss is going to be uh, Cobra Toko. Um, right now, it's just minimizing getting hit on the overworld. So I always go diagonally down like that, go to the wall. Shortest distance between two points is always going to be a straight line. You do not have to jump right here. If you're standing right where I'm standing right here, that ball is not going to hit you. It will not hit you. You don't have to jump. If you feel uncomfortable about it, then just jump. But if you're standing at that point on those rocks above the ball, it's not gonna, it will not hit you. Weave your way through this, go diagonally if you're able to, but it doesn't matter. Fire. So see, I even, uh, here, we're gonna have to go back a little bit. Uh, Cause I missed my, uh, I missed my, uh, my pre-fire on, on Cobra there. If you miss your pre-fire, it can be a lot of trouble. There can be a lot of trouble. So we're going to go back through that stage. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to set my save state. Because I forgot to do that. Um, but uh, if you miss your pre-fire on Cobra, you just you have to pray that you get a favorable pattern. Because he'll, he'll just walk through your bullets. All right, we've set our save state. <clears throat> uh, again, right here. You don't have to jump. If you're in the middle like this, you will have to jump. So just plan accordingly. Plan accordingly. If you're able to get on that upper uh, half of that platform, you don't have to jump. You don't have to jump. Uh, the game has it so that you uh, are able to jump on the, on the next frame after you land, uh, which can save you from some damage. Like if you look like you're about to fall onto an enemy, just try to jump. Try to jump, because you might miss that damage. Um, there's times that it doesn't work. The jumping in this game is a little bit wonky. Like, if you're holding two directions at the same time, it's, like, I'm not showing a very good example here, but there's times when your jump just will get completely eaten. Uh, and it's because this game doesn't like when, uh, when two directions and a jump are pressed at the same time. So, um, I'm not showing a very good example here, but... Uh, just know that that is a possibility. Your jumps will get eaten, uh, whether by input, uh, you know, the controller uh, and the game not liking your inputs, or by the lag. The lag can eat your jumps. Uh, so let's do a uh, save right here. And you're going to fire right about at this rock and then walk forward. So we're going to try that in motion. Fire. So see, I think I fired too early. We're probably going to fire at this rock. Let's try that again. Fire. Yep, that's a much better, much better spot. All right, so right here in line with this with this little crack. So we're gonna make like we just came up through this way. Fire. 
and then immediately after dialogue, do a rocket. Immediately after dialogue, you do a rocket. Up here, you have to jump over that ball and then I shoot that enemy, so we're gonna do this again real quick, and then I'll create a new save state. So we'll do a save state right here. So you do have to jump over this ball, and then you can try to jump over that guy, uh, but what can happen, I'll show you. I'm certain that I'll find a situation where the, well, that ball is a little bit trolly right there. So this ball can follow you throughout the rest of this level, and it's terrible. So if you try to jump, sometimes the guy will just walk with you. And if you don't get your, your next jump off frame perfect, then it's just going to be damaged. So just fire. Just fire, you take care of them, you're paused for a second, but you keep your uh, movement speed, you keep your fire speed, and you're not stunned from the, um, from the, here, I'm going to go back a little bit, and you're not stunned from taking a hit. So I'm going to try to explain what I'm doing here. So fire, and then walk on the lowest part right here, right along the wall. You can go diagonally and down right, just make sure to jump if he throws a kunai, if the shocker throws a kunai. Weave through here. And I always jump right at that point. I always jump. Here, let's uh, let's. I'll try to I'll try to show you one more time. Fire. Once you do that first initial weave through the stone walls, I always jump because you, that shocker will sometimes come up and try to give you a big hug, and it's no fun. No fun. If he doesn't come up, that's fine. Like the worst that you've done is that you've jumped. Uh, we're gonna go back one more and do that room again. One more time. So, fire. Go right along the wall here. Down right. Avoid the kunai. These shockers, you don't even have to worry about them. Weave, 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 jump! Oh, see, he tried to. He tried to. Uh, these guys are huge trolls. So, um, original route in, uh, in this next room was uh, fire two shots to kill each of the uh, each of the red shockers. All we're gonna do right now is advance dialogue and rocket. New route, new strats. Right up here, uh, let's go, let's do that fight one more time so that I can create a new save state. Advance, 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 rocket. Done. Save state, come on up this way. When you're about at this point, about on a, on a perfect 45 degree diagonal from uh, from Kame Bazooka here. You're gonna turn diagonally towards him and pre-fire. And even that was a little bit late. That was a little bit late, so we're gonna try it again. Right there, and then one of those. And that should be it. That should be it. See? One pre-fire, one uh, three-hit rocket, and this guy's done. Right there. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. His hitbox is pretty big, so you see that my bullet kind of went behind it. Oh, you know what? We're going to... Hold on. We're going to go back. We're going to do it one more time so we can create a new save state, because that next room is terrible. All right. I'm going to create a save state right here. This next room is... Much like any other room in this game, you're trying to avoid all damage. You're trying to avoid as much damage on the overworld as possible. Um, this next room is one of the hardest to do that. So, I always come down right like this, and I just try to weave my jumps in and out, dodge fireballs, dodge kunais. The hardest jump for me right here is not even this one. It's, uh, let's see, right here. You're going to jump against, like, to try to avoid this particular shocker very, very early. Very early. And you can change direction of your jump mid-air. So, um, that's gonna be a huge point to getting, uh, out of damage from this guy. See, but if everyone's firing at you, it's just, it's a lost cause. You're gonna take some damage. Yeah, see, like, it's, it's so difficult. This room is the least friendly room in the entire game. Sometimes I just come up and give you a hug. Uh, and for some reason, with the amount of sprites that are in this location, jumps get eaten very frequ frequently. So that's why I try to jump early there, so that I can just start mashing the jump button, and uh, one of them will catch. 
right here, if this guy, we're gonna do this last room one more time so I can create a new save state. Um, but that, the next room is, is not as difficult as this room, but it can be kind of a pain. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. The music in this is great too. All right, create a save state right there. If this guy comes down, if this bat right here, if that bat comes down, just fire. He's not, I don't think he's gonna do it. Ooh, is this, oh. All right, so this is seated then. Interesting. Ah. All right, see, I'm learning something brand new right now. So that was an easy way to get through that room. Sometimes this guy will come down like this and I'll just show you how I, so I'll just fire and he'll die and then just jump. Just jump and avoid all the rest of the damage that's inside this room. So, but since this is seated, which might be frame count based on when I went in and got out of that last room, that's very interesting. That's very interesting because right now the record is at a point where it's going to take basically discovering something like that to be able to um, get the time down any, any more significantly anyway. All right, so jump, jump. All right, this next room will do a save state. I walk up about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I walk up about five from where I enter. One, two, three, four, five, fire, walk. Ready? And fast. One, two, three, four, five, fire, walk. Because then you just advance dialogue twice. One rocket, much like uh, Kamei Bazooka. It's one pre-fire, one rocket, he's done. One more time. Uh, again, his hitbox is huge, so you could walk up four stones and it might work. Uh, five stones is what I aim for, but that's, uh, it, it's as easy as that. It's really as easy as that. Uh, so let's do one more save, and we're going to come up to Bone Fighter, who's really easy. If you can, get your pre-fire off. Um, again, that's on, a, that's on a, a, a frame rule. If you can get it off, great. If you can't, no big deal. Advances dialogue twice. Fire, back up, rocket, nope. It's very tight. It's very, so see, I got the pre-fire there. So it's going to hit him. All I have to do now is walk backwards. But you gotta fire your rocket. And see, I even missed, I, I messed this up. You need to get every single hit of your rocket. One, two, three. One, two. And then you're, you're trying to fire your rocket so that it, um, it hits him. The rocket itself hits him as he lands. Because the rocket can hit three times with the rocket with the explosion, and then with the residual from the explosion. Um, so the first time he jumps, you have to get all three hits. The second time he jumps, um, you only need two, but um, just fire at the same rate and get him with the initial rocket, and, uh, and he'll be dead. He'll be easily dead. So fire, back up, rocket, rocket. And then you're going to try to stand right about there. Uh, it stops Gundam from moving at the end of this level um, to reposition himself like he just did there. You just want to minimize that. Again, it's just minimizing how, uh, how much uh, extra is going on within the game. That's all. That's all. If you minimize movement, you have a lower time. All right, save state. This next stage is a lot of fun. I always walk straight up like this. As soon as I see one of those green guys, we're going to restart it. As soon as I see the first one of those guys, uh, I'm going to restart the save state again. Um, then I'm going to swap once with the A button and hit the right shoulder button to use uh, Kamen Rider's uh, motorcycle ability. Um, that cuts down a lot of travel in this stage, and you are invincible while uh, he is on that motorcycle, so you don't have to worry about taking any damage. So hold up as the level's going. So you can start your walk cycle. Ready, go. And wait for the green guy. Change, go. And you're just going to weave and keep uh, as tight as you can onto this path. Wow, I guess I'm stuck on the wall there. So let's try that again so I don't get stuck on the wall. And change. You get a feel for the timing the more you do it. Get in there, and this is just a uh, uh, weapons refill for you. And we're not going to switch yet because we need to use the bike one more time. One, two, three. On the roof right there, there's those three little circles, those three little red vents. Um, at the third one, you're going to turn your uh, your bike back on and get through the rest of this level. 
Alright, so we're gonna save state here. Alright, one, two, three, diagonal. Again, use your diagonals. Use your diagonals. You're gonna go up from this point, change twice, and hold up to walk in. This fight sucks. So, we're gonna go back and do this thing one more time. One, two, three. My yeah, timing was off. If your timing's off, you'll take damage right there, and that's no good. You don't want to run into the wall at all. There's just enough motorcycle. One, two. All right. This fight. The gods, knights. They are very, very random. So uh, I only change twice and not to Gundam so that I can change once as soon as dialogue ends and read their movement. So let's see if I can do that. Dialogue. They're going up. Fire a rocket. Fire a rocket. So it is not usually that easy. It is not usually that easy. So let's see if I can get a save state right outside the room. Right there. One, two, go in. We're gonna try to do this. Oh God, all right. The big down pattern. So see, they could do something like that. The down pattern is the hardest pattern. Because uh, that one takes a lot more luck than the rest of the patterns. One, two, up. That one's pretty friendly because you can, if they move both right, you can fire a rocket straight ahead of you, you'll take one of them out. Then you just have to read and react to the other guy and see where you can go to hit him with the other three hits of your second rocket. You only want to use two rockets here. They both go up do something like that something like that so it's it's I'll see if I can't get another pattern uh, just to show it off like that pattern is a god pattern that's a perfect pattern you're not gonna get something much better than that so a lot of that room is just trying to read and react with that first uh, character switch you can jump right there and then this is again just avoiding damage I always do something like this, because sometimes there's a little mine. We're going to go back. Uh, at that position I was in, there's a little mine that shows up, and if it explodes, it does damage, and it really hurts. Um, all right, so that wasn't bad, considering that I still missed a shot with the rocket and took some damage, but we got out of that room pretty quick with the knights. We'll set a save state. All right, watch positioning when it gets to the middle of this right there. The middle of that uh, that kind of medium-sized pillar in the background is where I jump. So just weave in and out with your jumps. This guy, try to get a pre-fire. You got a pre-fire. If you hear it, you're in good shape. Fire two more bullets as soon as dialogue goes. One rocket should kill him. See, that was a, that was a bad fight. Let's try it again. Uh, if you get a pre-fire, it's two bullets one rocket. If you don't get a pre-fire, it's three bullets and a rocket. I believe it's three. It might only be two. But uh, we'll, we'll check it out. We'll test it. We'll set up a new uh, save state here. Whoop. Sometimes it can just give you that big old that big old troll pattern. Let's try it again. So, alright. Two shots and a three-hit rocket will kill him. I don't know if one shot will. Let me let me try that, because if one shot kills him, I've, I've actually only, the, the fewest I've, I've hit him with. All right, so yeah, a, a single shot with a three-hit rocket. So if you can get that positioning right, then um, you've just saved a whole bunch of time. If you can get that positioning right every time you've saved a lot of time in this fight. I'm gonna, I'm, what I'm testing right now is to see if one rocket alone kills him. But I can't quite get uh, all three hits on the rocket, so we're, it's gonna take a second. Because his movement is just so erratic. No, so... It's always going to take at least a bullet, which is good, because then it pauses him. So one bullet. 
and the rocket, and he's done. We'll do that one more time. One bullet, one rocket. Done. All right. Next up is uh, you know what? I'm gonna s I'm gonna actually save real soon, right here. In fact, this next section is a lot of jumping and precise platforming. Jump at the corner, right there. I'll show you that one more time. At that corner, because that causes the mine to explode because of how far right you are, um, and so you won't take damage from it, and you'll still have a nice straight path. Does my mouse show up? No, of course not. All right, uh, you'll still have a nice straight path this way um, so that you're not running into walls or anything. We'll do that one more time. And yump. Right here, I always fire to get rid of that green guy. So we'll do that right now. Yump. Yump. Fire. Fire again to get rid of that turret. Because I'm going to show you I'm going to show you a strat right here. I'm, I'm got rid of all the enemies so I can show you something. You normally, the normal route on this is you take this and then you jump over once it has done its cycle. Uh, I'm going to show you what I look for as a visual cue to be able to take this in one single cycle. Right about there, I'm going to jump. You can make it in one single cycle. We'll try to do it in fast motion. Fire. Fire. That's why I do these fires on those things to get rid of. See, and sometimes if you get hit by that purple guy, it's just not going to happen. You will not get that fast, uh, that fast cycle. So, luck of the draw. If you get hit by the, if you get hit by the purple guy, just take it slow. It's no big deal. Yeah, that I, I jumped too late. I got down to that pattern. Uh, I got down to that platform too late because I missed my pre-fires. One, two. There you go. That's how it should be. And then just jump to avoid these guys. Next up is save state, Quebly. Quebly is super easy and has not changed whatsoever from, from old route to new route. Two rockets, that's it. Two rockets. So advanced dialogue and then you're gonna find a position. When it goes there, you're gonna stand right in the middle there on the left. Two rockets, you don't even need to hit with all three fires of each rocket. So let's see if I uh, can get a different position. Uh, let's hold and go. Okay. See, sometimes it'll, like, Quibbly is, is a little bit random. Right there. Just stand in that same sort of location, right in the middle of that platform, and uh, fire upwards. Don't fire diagonal. There's a chance you can miss, and then you're in um, a little bit of trouble. I fire diagonal in some of my world record attempts. Um, because it is slightly faster. Uh, you know what? Hold on. We're going to go backwards on this. Back to Quebly. And fire, and fire. Perfect. Uh, I want to set a save state right here. Old route. I'll show you old route, and then we're going to go through the new route. Old route had a lot of diagonal jumps through this, and while it might save some time in a, like, a perfect situation, uh, I have found that just taking all these platforms is far more consistent and avoids more damage. Because you see that little pause right there. That little pause right there is no good. That little pause trying to set up your diagonal so you don't fall, no good. So here's the way that uh, the new route takes those jumps. You're still going to take this one early. Jump, jump, you're just non-stop jumping. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. You will not only avoid damage almost every time, uh, you avoid spawning extra enemies at that last platform right before uh, Zeong, which is big because you don't want to take any unnecessary damage. Just keep jumping, jump, jump, and uh, shout outs to Mark Yard. Mark Yard for showing me. Uh, this in his PB videos. Uh, it was great. It was, a, it was a game changer because it really um, it got rid of a lot of those extra enemies right at the end of that platform there. We'll do it one more time. Do it one more time. Shout outs to Mark Yard. Marky Yard. See, I'll, you'll, you might take some damage there, which kind of sucks, but 
um, it's still, in the long run, it's going to save some time. If you if you take damage, and then you're still trying to do the diagonals, you're gonna you're gonna lose even more time. All right, Zayong, Zayong is easy. Zayong is easy. Advanced dialogue and fire a rocket. Advanced dialogue, advanced dialogue, advanced dialogue, fire a rocket. And his first form is done. His first form is done. All you need is a rocket. Uh, old old strat had you pre-fire and then do a rocket. The, what the pre-fire does is it stops Zeong from moving. So it's helpful. Uh, but usually he does not move. I'd say 99 out of 100. He does not move in a position where your rocket will not hit him three times. So you can just fire a rocket and be done with it. Uh, this next part's a little trickier, especially since I took a hit. You tr you really don't want to take a hit in this fight because uh, your rate of fire just plummets. It it's, it's gone, completely gone. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do some, some slick timing. I try to listen for the explosions. At seven explosions uh, from the end of, of his first form, I fire a rocket so that it might hit him before like the explosion uh, hitboxes start, but I'm really just trying to get him with the two explosion hitboxes and then firing another rocket immediately. So that's that's my goal. We're gonna start from the jumps. I want to uh, we're gonna tr you know what? No, we're not gonna start from the jumps. I'm gonna start from here because that might change my RNG a little bit, and I want to show you what it's like getting hit. So we're gonna start. See, and I'm I you only want to use three total rockets. Um, so, and I missed that second rocket, so now this fight is just a big old troll. Um, so it's it's the sound of those explosions that's very, very helpful. Uh, and having paused it, I did miss out on the sound of the explosions. So I, I missed my audio cue. Uh, and I missed my rocket, so it was just a bad fight. Alright, jump, 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 and you got hit. Oh well. You hate to see it. Dialogue, 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 rocket. Get back this way. That's how you want the fight to look. That's how you want the fight to look. That's the ideal form. Uh, that's the ideal fight for, for killing Zeon quickly. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll do one more. We'll do one more, and then we'll, we'll go on to crystal, uh, crystal level. Which has a, a lot of very helpful new tech. Crystal stage has a lot of very helpful new tech. Yump, 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 yump. Alright. Dialogue, dialogue, I gotta pre-fire off. Perfect. That's how you want it to look. That's exactly how you want that fight to go. Listen for the explosions. That's a perfect audio cue. All right, crystals. So there is a, a uh, the, the first mini boss in crystals, Alien Guts. There is a, a platform that spawns after killing Alien Guts. The old route, uh, it was understood that you have to kill both of them, and sometimes if you kill one of them, it would it, it would. Uh, spawn the platform and we thought it was some sort of a glitch. Uh, it is not, I mean, it might be a glitch, it might still be a glitch, um, but, oh, you know what, I didn't even show off uh, the movement through the front. We're gonna, we're gonna go back, we're gonna fight uh, Zeong one more time, and we're gonna, I'm gonna show off the movement through the front of that stage too, because it's uh, slightly different. It reduces a lot of lag. Perfect. Two, three, rocket, get back up. Nice. Nice. Perfect Zeong fight. Perfect Zeong fight. All right, so old route, I'll try to show you old route first, uh, and then kind of, I'll show you the lag that happens in old route. And then how we are uh, just completely eliminating that lag in the new route. Save state. So we're just like jumping, jumping, and it's a lot easier to get hit. There's a lot of lag right here. There's too many enemies on the screen. We're going to go back. So all I'm doing right now is 
removing enemies from the screen. You remove enemies, you remove lag. So as soon as the level starts, I'm gonna go uh, up and left, and then fire at about this point, walking forward and jumping. Jumping is very important. You're gonna get, you're gonna dodge a bullet. Right here, jump. Right here, jump. And then when I do that second, uh, uh, the third jump, excuse me, I jump to the right, to the left, over the hole, and then over this. So that is the new route getting through that section. It saves a lot of lag, and it reduces your chances of getting hit like immensely. All right, here's the new tech. This is uh, uh, this is Alien Guts, uh, and this platform, the Habib's platform, as as we affectionately call it, we we thought it was some sort of glitch that um, just the platform happens to show up if you kill one of the two enemies, and we weren't sure what it was. Um, initially, I had discovered that you can. There's nine different patterns that these guys will spawn in, and if you kill the right one in those nine patterns then the platform will spawn. Unfortunately, that requires a lot of like read and recognition and being able to um, decipher something like that. Otherwise, you've just you've lost time. And then if you're incorrect, because uh, a lot of the patterns do look similar, if you're incorrect, you're out a rocket. We only have one rocket left. We have one rocket left. So if we miss, it's you've just lost 10 seconds in this run. Um, what we discovered was you can manipulate this 100% of the time. A pre-fire from right here, ish, right about here, where uh, Gundam's head is at the top of that little honeycomb there, uh, at the right side guts. The right side is the only side you need to worry about. A pre-fire on the right side guts will cause him to delay his spawn, and he will be the second guts to spawn when they disappear. You'll see what I mean. It, it sounds a little strange. Um, so he'll delay his spawn. And when he does spawn, you kill him with a rocket. Platform appears every single time. Watch. Right there, pre-fire. He gets hit, delayed spawn. It's this guy. We'll do it again. I'll show you. It's 100% of the time. Fire. Hit, delayed spawn. This guy. Do it again. Fire. Hit, delayed spawn. This guy. Done. Every time it is foolproof. Um, so the one thing that I realize is it might be a little difficult to show you um, with my with my game capture. I'm not sure if it's actually capturing at uh, at 60 frames a second. Uh, to be honest, which is uh, so the, the the teleport might look a little bit like everything's gone or or you can't tell which one is appearing. Um, I assure you, if you put this game on and you practice this, it will, it is a 100% success rate in getting this platform to spawn early. 100%. Fire. Go. This guy. Dead. So it, it'll take a little bit of practice to get that timing down, but it is foolproof and it will save you a lot of seconds. I kill all the enemies there to reduce lag, and I don't want to uh, have fallen down, so we're going to do this one more time. I kill all the enemies on that platform to reduce lag, um, just to save a few seconds here and there. Alright, reduce lag, reduce lag, reduce lag, jump. Alright, you're going to get uh, refills right here. I'll do a save state right here because this next part is kind of tricky. I'm going to get onto this platform the earliest I can. Fire left, fire down. You're going to try to not get hit because it's, uh, I mean, it's not terrible if you get hit. Sometimes you can even just get away with firing left. And it's just to minimize lag. Again, everything I do, like firing to get rid of enemies, is just to minimize lag. We're going to try to do it one more time. Try to do it one more time. Get on, fire left, he's dead. And you're always gonna wanna jump away from the, like when the crystals are in the air, you don't ever wanna be on the ground when those crystals come down crashing. This guy's easy, two fires, two rockets. You shouldn't take damage there if your mashing is fast enough. If you can get a rocket out uh, the frame after dialogue, then you should never take damage from that fight. 
Uh, that little crystal platform right there, you can jump pretty much at any moment and, and you'll make it. That platform, I, I don't think I've ever fallen off that platform. Well, let's see if I can do one without taking damage, huh? <laughs> My mashing isn't good. Wow, the mashing is really not good. That's interesting. Well, oh well. I'm not going to show you one where I don't take damage, but you shouldn't have to take damage there. Uh, we'll do that one more time because I want to set another save state. There you go. There you go. We're going to set a save state here. Uh, we're going to be using the bike again. I wait right here, jump there, change bike. We're going to do that one more time. Whoops. Don't want to use an extra rocket. Wait there. Jump, change, bike. The bike will be with you just long enough. Crystal there, jump. And then change three times. Pre-fire on this guy if you can, but you really only need to do two rockets on him and he's dead. So we'll do that one more time. Wait down there. Jump, change, bike. And make sure you're watching for this this crystal in the middle of the room there. One, two, three. I I'm, I consistently miss the pre-fire with this guy, so it is it's one of those things. But you've just seen why you don't ever want to take damage because I was mashing the uh, rocket button like crazy, and it felt like it took a year for my second rocket to come out. So jump three. Two rockets. This fight sucks. This fight sucks, but I think I've got a consistent, uh, a consistent, fairly quick kill on this fight. We'll set a save state right here. Uh, in this one, more than any other fight, you want to try to get that pre-fire off. So again, it is on a frame rule. It's hard to do it, but you want to try to get it. So we're going to go in and try to get the pre-fire off. No pre-fire. As soon as dialogue cuts, as soon as you advance dialogue, shoot a bullet and jump to the bottom right, like this. Turn around, fire a rocket, fire another rocket, and he is done in his first form. This guy has two forms. First form is absolutely the easiest thing. The second form is the biggest hunk of garbage in this game. It is the worst. So go in, try to get a pre-fire. Got one. Jump. Turn around. To, there are times, and I'm going to try to show one of those times, where you can turn around with that first rocket and get a, uh, a, a double hit physical rocket and then a single explosion hit, and the dragon, uh, his first form is dead. So it's the fastest that I know how to get rid of that first form. And that was not it either. So, pre-fire, no. Like that, like that, like that. Uh, one explosion has gone off. So in my head, I'm, I, I'm just, I need to remember that because I count explosions on this as well. When it hits seven, fire a rocket so that just like against Zayong, you're trying to hit Crystal Dragon with uh, the very end of the physical rocket and then the two explosions. Um, you might only get the two explosions. That's fine. You're trying to mash rockets at this point. Um, so you want to be about the, 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 the distance that the rocket will travel, which will be about two of these crystals, two of these honeycomb crystals, um, before it explodes and starts to do that damage. So uh, I'm going to try to time that out. Two, three. Like that. That is so difficult to do, I can't even tell you. It's so difficult to get that quick kill. All right, there's another one of the quick ones. See, because he'll do something like that where he just goes off screen. In that case, you're just chasing him down and fire where he's going to be, not where he is. If you fire where he is, you've already missed him. Whoop. And that's how the fight can go wrong. Alright. Alright. 
See? That's what I mean. That This fight can go very, very wrong. Very quickly. Fire, jump, turn. You're trying to only use three rackets total on this fight. Uh, I'm sorry, four rackets total on this fight. You're trying to only use four total rackets on this fight. So if you can, um, if you can get that early quick kill on his first form, then uh, you afford yourself one extra rocket in case he moves away. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. So he just flew right through some of the damage that I was trying to dish out to him. Alright, like that is another option as well. I'm gonna do this fight just a couple more times uh, to show you one other option that you do have uh, in killing him. Let's try it again. If I can get it off. If I can get it off. Alright, good. Ah! See, if you shoot to where he is, you've already missed him. So this, this guy is just terrible. Alright. Three, four, five, six... It's not the cleanest kill, guys. It's very difficult to get this kill clean consistently. Two, three, there. All right, so now we're just gonna have to fire a couple of rockets and he's done. Um, that's a good backup strat that I'll, sh I'll just kind of show you that backup strat. Just chase him up this way fire and you you'll, you'll basically get him like that a hundred percent of the time so if you can chase him like this try to get the quick kill if you don't fire another rocket all right that was that right there was the god kill so that right there was was the absolute best minus the early uh, first form that you can do on this guy So if you don't get the early first form, um, come on, all right, two, three, four, five, six. Chase, fire, done. One last time, because uh, I don't want to spend all of my time on this video on this fight. Two, three, there, okay. Chase, fire done and then position yourself directly in front of Ultraman Taru so it, by that point guys you should have an idea of what it takes to take down the crystal dragon it's not an easy fight it's not particularly a fun fight but um, you know it, it'll just take a little bit of work all right level five level five set a save state and then uh, as soon as the level starts, you're going to hold diagonally up right like this. And you're going to jump into lava, take damage intentionally, switch once, and bike. Bike across the lava, up, and in there. And again, we're going to use switching to be able to try to read the pattern on, uh, on uh, Kumo Otoko. Kumo right here. Spider-Man, I call him. So you're going to switch uh, four times until you get back over to Gundam. And in that point, uh, in that time, you should be able to read the pattern of this guy. So one, two, three, switch, 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 dog delay, upright. And this guy right here that triggers the dialogue, that's an option. You don't want him. There is a way to skip this. We're gonna try to do that right now. Uh, 
Let's see here. Uh, it only takes uh, two rackets to take down Spider-Man. Whoops. I only switched three times there. So that's, that's really, for me right now, that is kind of the hardest thing uh, I would say to a new player to this game is getting under your belt is how many times you have to switch your guys to make sure that you are uh, on the right character. Right there was the dialogue skip I was talking about. So if you do not take damage uh, and you are free to move after that second rocket has taken out Spider-Man, then you can jump right past this option. Two, three, four, rocket, rocket. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to show it one more time. You can jump right past that option and skip that dialogue, which will save you a good five seconds. One, two, three, four. Uh, it is sometimes even uh, okay to kind of prolong that fight just a little bit. Not a lot, because you're not saving that much time. But um, you can prolong that fight just a little bit to make sure that you have free range of movement um, before you go through that door. Or before you kill Spider-Man and try to jump past the option. Three, four. Oh, and see that one... Um, there is a chance if you don't get hit and uh, the rockets take out... What happened there was Spider-Man got um, damaged by all three possible hits from the first rocket and the first two hits of the second rocket, that's enough to kill him. Uh, so if that is the case, you will not get this dialogue skip because the dialogue will start before you're able to move. We're going to try it one last time. The dialogue skip is not super important, um, but it, it, like I said, it does save... Uh, a fairly significant amount of time if you're trying to get into those upper tier times. Two, three, four. This one should be fine. Jump. Oh, no! I don't know why. Honestly, I don't know why. Sometimes the option dialogue will still trigger like this. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's um, that my positioning isn't pixel perfect. I'm not sure if that's the case. Um, but sometimes this will just happen. So, you just kind of run with it. Switch once, bike. Switch one, two, three, four, and hold up to go in. As soon as you hear that fourth switch, hold up, because it will trigger uh, the very first frame that Gundam is able to move. Go in here, three fires. One, two, three, two rockets. Switch once. This is going to be pretty quick, guys, so we'll, we'll go through this one more time, but uh, we're going to go through it in its entirety. One, two, three, four. Try to pre-fire. And then two rockets, switch once. Bike. Everything here is, is absolutely perfect. You want one hit with the boot on Apollo Rider. Switch once. Two specials. That is not the way. We're going to start all the way from the beginning. Because I messed that up. No, try it again. Swap. And go down to Spider-Man. See if we can't get this dialogue skip. One, two, three, four. Again, I don't know. I don't know what causes. Um, I don't know what causes me to miss it because that is the positioning that you should be in. Oh, I didn't. I didn't do the switch before I went down. It's fine. Just switch as soon as you get back out. One, two, three, four. Walk. Jump. Went, they'll move like two and a half times, and then they're gonna fire at you. One, two, three. Rocket. Rocket. Switch once. We're gonna save right before the Apollo Geist fight so I don't mess it up. So again, if you don't switch before you go in, just switch after. Two rockets, switch once. And 
one boot switch, two specials. Fight's done. If you get hit, one boot, switch, two specials. It just takes a little longer. That's it. One boot, switch, two specials. Sometimes he does this, and it's terrible. We'll try it one more time. One boot, switch, two specials, and then one, two, three, four swaps. That's very, very important to get those four swaps. That makes this next room and the new route in this next room, um, that, that gives it all of its time save. That is where all the time save in this, in this next room comes from. As soon as this starts, hold diagonally upright. As soon as you land, hit the bike. The special on the R. There you go. You know what? Let me start this over. I'm going to show you old route. I'm going to show you old route. Old route did this. Go up. And then you're going to go through this door, number five. You get a full weapons refill. And then you're using another bike. So you're using four uh, weapon points. One, two, three, four. Going through door number two and heading over to the fight with Debuted Abide. You don't need to do that. Don't need to do that. Route is different. The route is brand new. Hold diagonally upright. Hit the ground. R. Hit your bike. Immediately, your first right, and mash that R button. Diagonally down right. You're going to go to this yellow room, door number 12. Door number 12, remember that. It's hard to, like, it's... The layout of this particular room is not easy to know, but uh, you're going to look for that number unless, until you get used to it. Door number 12, one, two, three, four, hold up. You get a full weapons refill and you're already Gundam, you do not need to use the bike. Because swapping to use the bike and then swapping back to Gundam is just a waste of time. We have just saved in that, using that new route alone, you have just saved 10 seconds. Uh, this next fight is the worst fight. Uh, aside from, from Crystal Dragon, this is the worst fight in the game because it is super RNG heavy. Um, the nice thing is that what, what we used to do with to beat it abide was three rockets. You have two extra rockets that you can use. Um, so what I usually will try to do is kill him uh, within four rockets. Um, three is an absolute perfect fight for me. But that gives you the opportunity to make this fight faster because you have an extra rocket and you're not like, oh my god, I used three rockets and I missed him. Uh, now I have to fire on him. No. Um... For this fight, I don't usually pre-fire, but there, there's two different ways you can do this. There's two ways you can do this. So mash your dialogue. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the eighth one, hit the dialogue and jump behind him and start firing regular bullets and then one rocket. And that is why the fourth rocket comes in handy. All right, so I didn't show you that exactly the way that I said it, so we're gonna try it. We're gonna do two fires and a rocket. Based on his position, if I think I can get at least two hits with a rocket, I will fire another rocket immediately. Jump, one, two. So right there, I probably should have fired my fourth rocket and it would have killed him and, and that fight would have been over long before it was. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump, one, two. There you go, four rockets, you can take them out. Now the other route is pre-fire. When I pre-fire, I do something that's a little bit strange, kind of like Crystal Dragon. I'm going to try it again. Hmm. 
I didn't do it right. Let's see it. Like that. So I always try to hit him with a bullet first, and then fire with a rocket, move diagonally down right, uh, and try to hit him with at least two fires of a rocket. At that point, I've, I, I've found that I have, personally, I have a little bit more consistency getting those hits on him uh, versus trying to fire at him from the side. He's very difficult to hit from the side. His hitbox is deceiving. Right there. That's a really good debut and divide fight. So if that is more comfortable for you, trying to get that first bullet, you do a bullet, rocket, and then you use rockets and or bullets as you need to. Yeah, even there, four rockets was not enough. Four rockets was not enough. It's because I didn't uh, stun him in place, I think. There, done. Done, and you've used four rockets. So I'll I'll try to do it one last time. This is the trolliest fight of the game. This is where runs go to die. Oh! See, like even that, I felt like I'll do it one more time because I felt like that was a pretty decent four rocket fight. But sometimes he just moves too fast. And he gets out of the of the uh, hitboxes of the rockets, uh, at which case you're just kind of at his mercy. If he does that, a really nice uh, like double three hit from the rockets, and you're able to get two of those. If you get if you get a three hit, three hit, just fire a fourth rocket. Don't even think about it. Don't fire a bullet. Fire a fourth rocket. Get rid of it. You don't need to save it. You can't take it with you. Let's try it one more time. Like that. Done. He's easy. He's easy when you know how to do it. So that is, in a nutshell, Debuter Divide. Now that we've done that, like, honestly, guys, the rest of this game is, is very simple. There's one more time save right at the end, but this is extremely simple right here. We've already seen all of these guys. Um, so it's just, a lot of this is just read and recognition for Zatan, his first fight. A little bit of RNG luck. I fire when I land, I jump. I just try to avoid getting hit. So Zatan here, you have to get a rocket off the frame after dialogue, or he's just going to destroy you. Two rockets and a pre-fire. But it's very important to get that first rocket off the frame after dialogue, or it just does not work. He'll start walking all over the place. Now, the nice thing is, you do have one extra rocket, thanks to the new route in uh, level six. Um, so you can use an extra rocket if you feel like you need to, and that'll, that can shave a lot of time off. Uh, next up, Apollo Geist, and we're gonna fight him with Gundam. So try to get a pre-fire in. And if you don't use your extra rocket on, um, on uh, Zatan, you do have an extra rocket for Apollo Geist. The old route had you using three rockets. You can use, uh, if you've saved, um, if you've saved, if you've only used four to beat divide and still only two at Zatan, you can use four on Apollo Geist and you're fine. Yeah, that's a terrible fight. Let's try it again. Sometimes Apollo will just be a troll like this. And this is where, I I'm telling you guys, a lot of my runs, a lot of my runs is die right here on Apollo Geist. Right there. So if you're able to stun lock him a little bit like this with a couple of bullets and then fire a rocket, fire a rocket, then he's, he's easy. So just try to stun lock him. 
See if you can. Sometimes you're just not able to. And then take care of him with the rest of your bullets. So I would suppose that's the easiest way to try to get him down. Just stun lock and... Uh, yeah, but it's still, like, as you can see, it's not an easy fight at all. Um, the god pattern for this gets him down in two rockets. Uh, it's only happened to me uh, a handful of times. As you can see, I've run this game almost 600 times. Only a handful of my runs have been given the, uh, the god two rocket pattern. So we'll try a couple more times to see if I can get that... Uh, Yeah, like even now, he's just, he's just not having, he's not giving me the time of day. Right there. That'll work. That'll work. Uh, next up is Zayong, and he has not changed at all. Each, I, th I think each of these bosses is just a little bit more difficult. Their HP is slightly higher. Uh, Zayong has changed very, very, very little. So still, advanced dialogue, fire a rocket. Get back, get back, avoid getting hit. And that's it. Uh, coming up, this is the last little bit of uh, time save in this run. This is a brand new discovery. So get up to start dialogue. Advance, advance, advance. Immediately move down. This stops his spawning animation and you can just turn right back around. Fire rockets, four rockets. Uh, four rockets. Should be four rockets. Interesting. You took more than four rockets there. So let's try that again. The discovery itself is the, uh, is the stopping of his, uh, transformation animation, which does save a significant amount of time. Um, so we'll try to do that one more time. I think I just had to move a little bit closer to him. Alright, back up, stop his animation, get right up on him, fire your rockets. Two, three, four, done. We'll do that fight one more time. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. Alright, we'll do it one more time. I'm gonna see if I can't do it damageless. You should be able to take this fight damageless. Um, I get, it's either my mashing that's bad or my positioning that's bad. I'm not sure which. Probably both. But that's it, guys. That's the game. That's the game. And so, uh, what are the new routes? New routes, excuse me, were um, in level one against King Joe, the first mini boss you fight, make sure you get that pre-fire. Make sure you get that pre-fire. Um, level two uh, against the shocker, the red shockers. Uh, instead of doing two shots each, use one rocket. Um, level three, what was it? Level three. Uh, watch the God's Knights. They're a huge pain in the ass. Um, level three really didn't change. Oh, level three, the jumping. Level three, the jumping right at the end. Just jump on each platform. Uh, oh wait, here, time stops there. Uh, level 3, jump on each platform. That's going to be the easiest thing for you to do. Uh, level 4, crystals. Uh, the alien guts. Pre-fire on the right side one. Wait for him to spawn. Again, it's a delayed spawn. Kill him with a rocket. And you get the early platform. Um, Burdon, the boss right before Crystal Dragon. Two rockets. Kill him that way. Uh, level 5, the dialogue skip. Just good luck getting it. It's, it is it is tougher than it looks. Um, everything else is... Everything else is pretty much the same. Uh, level 6, Debuted Divide, the new route. Go study that new route. That'll save you a ton of time. And then level 7, just that, that uh, time save from the animation. So uh, that's, that's SD the Great Battle, guys. That's the any percent route. There is another route with uh, no special weapons. I might do a video on that. We'll see. But uh, shout-outs again to Telio one for uh, showing me this game, getting me into this route, and, and writing up the, the route in the first place. Everything that's in this, this uh, guide is directly from his written route. So shout-outs to Telio one Great guy. Um, 
Uh, I, I look up to him a lot for, for speed running and just being a, a better gamer in general. Uh, shout outs to Mark Yard for the uh, new route on level three and uh, Habib's for the Habib's platform. So that's it guys. I hope you like this game and just let me know if you have any other questions. Adios.